boy. Uh, the first thing I have to do is I have to get rid of the furniture in that house. Oh my god, I have slept better camping on the ground than I did in there. Whew, but good morning, everybody, and welcome back to the farm. So today is a pretty big day. Today is where we have to come up with a plan. We need to figure out how we're going to make money, and we're going to need to figure out how we can get this farm up and running. Uh, we need to still take care of this. So Chuck called me last night, and we were talking a little bit, and he said that I should definitely get a halfway decent tractor and probably a cultivator and stuff like that. Which I agree. Um, I don't know. It's probably going to be a while before I can take care of my own farm. I need to build up some more money. Unfortunately, the money that I have is just not enough. It's just not enough. I mean, I don't even have enough money to really buy a decent tractor. With that being said, uh, my granddad, he, he called me last night to see how I was doing, make sure I settled in and everything. And we were talking. And, you know, he was telling me about how he sold off all of his equipment. But... That Fiat tractor that you see me driving around when I was just a kid, someone actually stole that. Stole that, and he contacted the local police, and yes, yeah, they never found it. So that's unfortunate. I used to really love that tractor. But uh, so we have a couple options, basically. We can take out a loan from the bank. Let me see. We got some mail in there. We could take out a loan from the bank, which I really don't want to do that, right? I don't really want to take out a loan. We could lease the equipment from the dealer. Um, and then do some jobs. And once we get the money, we can buy the equipment uh, just one by one. So as of right now, I'm thinking that's probably what we're going to do. Because I really don't want to take out a big bank loan and have to repay that. So I'm going to go down to the dealer. I'm going to see what they have. I'm going to see exactly how much it would cost me uh, to buy everything and how much it will cost me if I go the leasing route. I'm pretty sure leasing route is going to be a lot more affordable. And uh, I should be able to afford it. Uh, I could have went down there, but that's alright. I'm pretty sure I could afford to lease the things more than buying them straight out, that's for sure. So we're going to park up over here. We're going to head in. We're going to have a little talk with Chuck, maybe have a cup of coffee, and I'll see you guys when I come out, hopefully with some good news. Okay, so what we figured out, there's some equipment that uh, I think will definitely work. That we could do that. We're going to do that. But Chuck gave me kind of a tip. And I want to get a little bit more money first. So he actually gave me this uh, website to check out. Where we can get jobs. So I'm going to do that now. I'm going to go to the truck. I'm going to pull it up on my phone. And we're going to take a look at some of the jobs that are available. Okay, so we have three bailing jobs that we can take. We have cultivating jobs, harvesting jobs, plowing. I'm not a fan of plowing, to be honest with you. So we actually have quite a few of these jobs that we could take. Now, <laughs> What Chuck told me <laughs> is is this. He said that you can always, if you're fast enough, I guess, um, use the rented equipment to do more than one job. Right? He said because basically they pay for it for the day anyway. And uh, so, yeah, if you get done with their field, you know, uh, bring it over, accept another job, bring it over to their field, and uh, yeah, there, there's no sense in running more equipment. It's a very good idea. It's a very good idea. Maybe it's a little shady, but uh, yeah, not too bad. Now, check this out. 
This is interesting. This job pays $12,825 to Sprayfield 68. Now, if we rent the equipment, which is that big. Oh, this is actually, oh, this is with herbicide, so that's not good. That's not good. Herbicide. Oh, these are all. These are all weeding jobs. So technically, we could take this one. We'll only lose $1,603, right? But then we could take the next two biggest jobs. So I, I think we're going to do that, guys. We're going to accept the contract, but we're going to borrow the items, right? Okay, lease machines are waiting for you at the shop. Remember to fill the tools if needed. Okay, so we're going to have to pay for that. That's fine. Okay, so we have that one. Um, wait. Where's that job? Where did that job go? Spring. Okay, active spring. Go back down here. Feel 57. So that's almost eight grand. Let's accept that contract. And we'll accept this one for almost two and a half grand. And that should make us a pretty decent amount of money. So we'll we're gonna accept that contract as well. All right, so I guess we're good to go. We'll grab this sprayer. Whoa, that is a big machine. <laughs> okay, we'll grab this sprayer. And let's see here. I need to figure out how much this holds. So give me one second, guys. Ooh, okay, so that cost us a little bit of money, but not too bad. So we're going to start filling this thing. It takes 9,000 liters. And unfortunately, these only come in 2,000 liter containers here. So we're going to get this filled. And then I need to go figure out where this field is. And then we'll start work. All right. So we got that all filled up. And away we go. Let me... uh turn on the beacons here and we need to go to field 68 guys
Well, this looks like this is Field 68, so this is, uh... Well, this is gonna be a big job, yeah. Really big job. That's okay, though. We need to figure out if we can get this done. And, uh, still get over to the other fields. I mean, this is a pretty big sprayer, so I don't think it's gonna take too long, guys? I mean, look at that. That's not bad. All right, let's uh, let's turn this baby on. It's used for contract work. Oh wait a minute, that's not the field. That's not the field. Oh wait, this is the field. This is the field. This field is used for contract work. Okay, this is the field, guys. Of course, because this is the field of weeds in it. Duh. <laughs> Alright. So, we're going to get this field done. And... Man, I... I hope this is going to work. <laughs> Alright. So, we're going to keep... Keep at it, and I'll catch up with you guys when I'm done with this field and I'm ready to move on to the next one. Alright guys, so that's this field done. I mean, that's a big field and it didn't take us long at all. We just need to get a couple more of these. Needs killed here. Let me finish this row and then we'll pack this machine up and we'll move on to the next contract. Now, we're not going to collect on this job just yet because if we do, then we'd have to return the sprayer. We don't want to do that. We don't want to do that. So let's fold this up and uh, let's take it our let's take a look at our map here and see where the next field is. Fifty-seven to seventy-four. Let's see which one is the closest to us. So we gotta find us again. So there's sixty-eight. There's seventy. Seventy-four is way over there. And sixty-eight, seventy-four, and where's the other one? Okay, I need to I need to check the contracts again guys cuz I totally forgot 57. Okay, 57. All right, 57 is there. 74 is there, so they're not that far from each other. Um Oh, okay, we could take this road right here. Right to those. So All right, guys, I'm going to Move on over to those fields. We're going to spray those. And hopefully collect a pretty nice chunk of change. I mean, potentially we could maybe buy something. Maybe not a tractor, but definitely buy an implement. So if we can buy an implement, that means we can... Well, you know what? Let's just... Uh, Let's just cross that bridge when we get to it, I guess. Alright, guys. I'll see you guys at those fields. We'll probably do a little time lapse, I think. And then we'll show you what happens when we go to collect our payment.
So, that's, uh, that's three contracts, guys, right there. And honestly, <laughs> with the money that I just made off of these three jobs, it doesn't even bother me that I had to pay for the, the herbicide at all. I mean, honestly, it was, it was a good deal. <laughs> so, yeah, we did all three of those jobs fairly quick, too. Thanks to this, if I didn't have this, you know, it would have taken a lot longer, but really, you know, it's like Chuck said, they pay for it for the day. So, regardless, they, they don't pay any more for this. They're not charging them any more. As long as I get this back by the end of the day, they're good. So let's, uh, let's accept the contracts. I'll accept the contracts. Let's, uh, let's get paid, shall we? Okay, completed. So, we'll do this one first. We'll collect our money from that. Collect our money from that. Okay, so, with just that alone, we're back up to just under where we were. Um, I want to bring this back to the dealer before I, I get paid for it. <clears throat> so, yeah, might as well just bring it back to the dealer first here. So, actually, because of the herbicide, we may have, um, well, I don't know. We'll, we'll have to. Uh, we'll have to think about this. We'll have to think about this. Obviously, like a, a cultivating contract or something would be better because we don't have to add anything to it, like we did here. But all right. Brought this back to the dealer. Shut it off, and then we'll collect. Our money on there. Okay, so fifteen thousand eight hundred ninety-six. So now we have one hundred twelve thousand four hundred forty-three, and we still have this here. That's a little unfortunate. Um, I don't know what to do about that. And it's not even noon yet, so ah man, let's uh let's see what they have in here. See if they have any deals. Let's take a look at the store. Okay, so what do they have? Ooh, boy, they don't have anything. They have a tether. They have a tr that tractor. I mean, that's not... Ooh, boy, 235 horse, 84 grand. That's not a bad deal for that JBC. Hmm. <laughs> oh, that wouldn't leave me with much left, boy. But that is a good deal on that JBC. That wouldn't even leave me with 30000 Ah, it's a shame. It's a shame. Okay, they don't have nothing used. So, I guess what we could do... We could take a look at some other contracts here. So there's a bailing contract. So I really want to get the bailing. I don't know. Cultivating is pretty easy. Um, these don't pay very well. Fertilizing. One fertilizing job. Harvesting. A lot of different harvesting jobs. And plowing. And we still have spraying. So, spraying doesn't seem to be too lucrative for me. So, possibly, possibly bailing. I don't want to get into harvesting. Cultivating doesn't pay well at all. That's for sure. I mean, I guess we could do the bailing. We don't have to add anything to it. And I mean, we don't lose a lot of money. 
We're gonna lose forty-two dollars on this one if we uh borrow the items. And it looks like they all pretty much have the same items to borrow. Ah, <sighs> so let's uh let's do it. Let's do that. Remember to fill tools if needed. Okay. And let's pick up. You know what? This two jobs are with her anyway. So <laughs> I think she'd be okay with us using the same equipment. I mean, why not? So let's accept that one. And we'll accept this one here. Okay, so we have a nice tractor, tether, wind drawer, bell, bell. Uh, does this have. Okay. So that's what we're going to be stuck with. So I guess we're going to have to mow first. Hmm. Okay. There's going to be a lot of trips I see. So this should be very interesting. So we have the mower first. And then we'll head over to the field and uh, we'll start this contract. But that is where we're going to end this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, there's no sense in showing you all these contracts. Hopefully, by the next episode, we will have enough money to start working on our own farm because that is the end goal, right? To, to work on my farm um so i just want to explain a little bit what's going to happen here if there's not a lot going on there's not a lot to show you guys and there may be a, a gap in time between videos so like it's october now if nothing really happens you know and say the rest of this month then the next time you see me it may be november it may be december but you will see me again I can guarantee that. We are not going to stop here. I really want to chronicle how we do with our farm. And I want you guys to deal with me every step of the way. So again, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, blah, blah, blah. You know what to do. And we'll see you next time, guys. Got your on.